yeah. Um, what can you say about the university and what it has done for its student athletes during this time of COVID? Um, I would say that they definitely enforced or implemented uh some good rules or um or protocols uh in which, like I said, getting tested every day like that just that has that plays a huge role in our uh like I said contact tracing and and, and just getting those results right back um in like less than 24 hours mm-hmm. uh that helps because just for the next day just knowing if somebody before we practice or anything if somebody has covid or somebody tested positive um but yeah the university has done a great job i mean like even when i like walk around campus how things are set up it's arrows and and spaces like little blocks and stuff we can stand on to be social distanced in line and and things like that. So, and ropes blocking things off. So I feel like the university has enforced or or implemented some good rules and protocols for overall. Can you just um, speak a little bit about the um, when somebody catches contracts COVID and just speak a little bit about a contact tracing and how quickly. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. So in which we like get tested every day. So basically how how it how it has worked um with our team is somebody tests positive, um, they get notified right away as soon as they get the results back. Um and right there they just ask questions about uh, you know, who they've been around, um, like anywhere in the hotel, uh on campus, in the locker room, like everything like that, um, to just uh, to catch the uh, see who has been around them and stuff like that. But yeah, that's that's mainly the biggest thing um, is the contact tracing that in the in the everyday testing and how that affects us getting results back quick and and finding out um, who tests positive and what we need to do from from there. Um, you want me to ask you that? Uh, has COVID changed any plans for you? If so, you know what I mean? What, what has it you know, stopped you from doing that you wish you could have done uh, last year? Um, definitely stop, like, stop me from training, um, or crafting is, um, at football, uh, because I like going different places, uh, to train with different trainers and stuff like that. So mm-hmm. I wasn't able to do that. Um, but uh, some plans that also affected was, it's just like the school in general. Um, mm-hmm. I mean, virtual classes is, I mean, they've, it's not as easy. I mean, sometimes there is some cons to it. I mean, just not being one-on-one with a professor, uh, I believe is always, um, not as good as being hands on with with the student or whatever, but yeah, that's the 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 biggest effect it had on my my plans. All right now, lastly, uh, if you could just talk a little bit about you know how how meetings and lift and you know even the weight room eating together with um, team dinner how that has changed. Uh, talk about that before and after. Like, so before, I mean, like I said, meetings, uh, we got to meet in a, in bigger groups, in bigger settings that, uh, before, um, like, it was like little things, like, we could have, we could eat in the meeting, meeting rooms and stuff like that, but they kind of took that away, just, um, when COVID, uh, when COVID hit, um, and also for dinner, like, we, uh, we used to could eat um, like all together and just sit at the Blue Devil Tower and eat as a team. But now, um, most of the time, it's grab and go dinner. Um, but yeah, and that's I mean that kind of just uh, that can have an effect on the culture of the team or or the chemistry of the team and just like not knowing um, teammates, not knowing much about certain teammates or your teammates. But yeah, but now. Um, I mean, they're, they've 
the program, uh, the university is definitely just implemented some things that that has kept some some things normal, but it's definitely been a, a huge transition. Well, Leonard, I definitely appreciate you once again. <laughs> no, I mean, thanks for stopping by. No, for sure. Appreciate it.